I think what's unique to us is our close proximity to Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore seems to be a, um, an entry point um, for the heroin trade because, you know, not only does it have a port, uh, but it also has close, close proximity along 95 to Washington, Philadelphia, uh, New York. Um, so, so we get a lot of our, our people um, are going up, uh, they're gathering, um, they're going up, uh, they're buying from any street dealer they can find on the streets, and then they're coming down and they're hitting, you know, what we call the Harrow Corridor, uh, Frederick, Maryland, Hagerstown, Maryland, then on down to Martinsburg, Winchester, and then on down to Harrisonburg um, along the 81 corridor. Um, while they're doing that, um, they're, they're um, you know, committing a lot of petty crimes in order to pay for their habit. Um, so we'll see a lot of a lot of shoplifting, a lot of thefts from vehicles where they'll just go through a neighborhood and any vehicle they can find is unlocked. They'll take whatever they can find of value and then they'll fence that, you know, on their way or once they get to Baltimore and then make their purchases and come on back. Um, two problems with that. One is, um, you know, from a law enforcement perspective, you could almost say we're doing our job too well because what we've done is we've moved all the dealers out of this region so people have to go to Baltimore. So they're scoring from whoever they can on the street. That means they're bringing back different qualities and different uh, quantities and different makeup of the heroin um, each day. So the same dosage that might have been good for you yesterday to get your high might be killing you today. Um, so, so it's kind of almost a, an indication we're doing our job a little bit too well because we've taken out that quality control of having a single dealer in our region to they're going up and buying from whoever they can. Uh, on the streets up in Baltimore and, and then getting not having the same quality control when they come back. So we believe that's part of the reason why we have so many deaths.